we started about um, 1990 with already being friends and that. And um, we just like formed as Pagan Angel then. And then um, we went for about a year and we done our first demo. And then we done the second one in um, May of 91. And then Seven Inch for Witch Hunt. And then we got signed and that just after that, like Peace Bell. And that, that was in about uh, end, end of 91 when we got signed. And then um, we done like the compilation track as well, Love Lawn, for um, Volume 4. And then in, um, throughout the summer, we recorded the album in the UK. Mm-hmm. And at the moment, we're doing some good stuff as well. <laughs> That's the kind of, you know, the basic history of the band. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, sort of a background information. We're all about we're all about 20 and all that, like, and we just, um, we like to play very heavy metal, like. Mm-hmm. That's about the background information I can give you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's great. And let's talk about your excellent debut album, uh, Serenades. How did it work out in the studio for you? How did it go? Um, it, was, it went all fine, like, in the studio and that. Um, we just recorded it, like, through June, July and August and that, and, um, 92 and that, and then um, went, it went all fine, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything new you can say about the recordings? Um, it was done in about two, two and a half weeks, three, three weeks recording and then about a week mixing and that. Um, we done it in, um, you know, Academy Studios in West Yorkshire and that. Um, and then um, 24 track studio, all, all the usual stuff, like. And we're going there again, like, soon. And I listen to the album, you know, Serenades, I feel, you know, with the music, there is a lot of elements throughout the music there. Mm-hmm. What's your opinion? Yeah, there, well, that, that's what, what we're about, is like, um, we just want to write, like, the heaviest stuff we can with, um, like, also heavy in sound as well as heavy in emotion and all that. Um, what, what the main thing is, is like, um, we've got to really, really get across the emotion and the atmosphere and create a lot of mood and, like, change mood throughout music and throughout like the live set and that and, and on the album and the records and that we do we always want to like play like really heavy metal and that like um, but with a lot of passion you know the passion that's always been involved with them um, some of the best metal, metal, metal bands in the past like Black Sabbath and that like always very passionate about what they do and um, that's, what, that's what we're, we're like as well we're really, everything that we do is like with a lot of passion it's all on purpose it's all meant and that do you feel, you know, you going under the same musical direction, you know, as the other Doom bands? Um, it's more of an, um, just what, what we're doing, we're just going to ex- expand on what we've got, really, just um, not in any particular direction, just sort of um, different directions, like, but like we're going to diversify, really, just experiment more and more, mm-hmm. become more of an experimental band, um, but still with the same, like, we're still going to have dead heavy metal bits and dead all like there slow parts and that like um but we're just gonna everything that we do we're just gonna try and um get it get it more more like extreme in different ways and that you know um like we're gonna be not having any limits at all with what we do no limits is like really what we w- want to make our attitude about like mm-hmm. and listen to the record you know so nice i feel you know there's also you know very much psychedelic yes yeah, it could there. be yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah we're into all like um like all Jimi Hendrix, I suppose, and Pink Floyd or whatever, and that, like, um, especially Sid Barrett and that. Um, so I suppose those little bits get sneak in from time to time, and um, they'll probably sneak in even more soon. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Do you feel, you know, you have progressed musically, you know, since you started out with this debut album? Yeah, well, I think since, since even since recording that, like, we've progressed a lot um, in attitude as well as, as everything, like, um, whole ever, we've sort of like everything's mellowed into a into a way where um we're relaxed about everything we do but at the same time really really focused and that and um, and not know what we're doing most of the time but even when even times when we don't know what we're doing though we still want to do things where we don't have a clue what we're doing and at the same time like that that, that we can inject those kind of ideas into the stuff that, like that we, we record all kinds of stuff and after we've recorded it we can um like listen to it and say, oh, you know, we could do something and that with our music. Because we record a lot of music that we don't actually use for Anathema. We just do loads and loads of recordings, like, all weird stuff, like, all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, looking on the lyrical standpoint, you know, on the record, you know, what was the inspiration for you to write the lyrics for this album? Um, I suppose um, the, the music that, that, like, is, that we're playing, like, um, it's, that, that inspires us loads. Um, like um and the stuff around around that happens like um all kinds of 
stuff, weird stuff that goes on, like, um, it can inspire, like, an idea in your head and that, and, um, or, like, um, it's usually the, the emotion that the music creates from that particular song that um, gets into the, into the vibe and that makes the whole vibe of the song the same. And um, we can, I usually like to use that vibe to say the music and like trans, trans, uh, get that into, into like lyrics and words and that. And um, then that forms like a song. And it, sometimes we use the poems that I've already written. Sometimes I just create it there and then. Mm. Looking more on the, you know, the studio, you know, uh, they record live, they track them, this album. Um, we're gonna hope. I hope we do do the next one live. But um, we, the last one was recorded, you know, step by step. We done the drums and bass first, and then we done um, the guitars and, and everything else. Like after that, we, after that. But um, we want to start recording more stuff live because uh, like that's that's like a good way of doing it because you get the full vibe there when it's all recorded at the same time. Mm -hmm. We hope to hope to do that maybe for the next one, but if not the next one, then the one after that. But um, we're gonna be definitely kind of trying to arrange that the studio can record us live for this next album mm -hmm. if it can't we'll, we're going to try something anyway <laughs> yeah uh, in a live situation do you feel you know it's going to be more powerful when you're recording a live situation do you feel um, what you mean like in the studio on that yeah yeah. Uh, yeah I think so I think it can be it's just the vibe really the vibe's more more together and um, even though sometimes it might not be as tight I still think that um, as long as the vibe is there and even the tightness then can is almost on purpose as well because the vibe is like really the strongest point of everything, like the mood and that. And then um, when everyone's playing together at the same time, it's just it usually is better, I think, personally than um, than when it's recorded all separately, all bit by bit. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it's more it's more powerful, more emotive, more everything really. Yeah. Do you feel you know with the band's name Anathema? Does it goes along with the music? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it does because um, it's sort of like an, um, a very anti kind of like word anathema is like because it's hated like by the church and the church at the moment like you know it's got a strong way of like controlling the world and that like um, and so in a way it's, it's a, it, it is like an, um, a very angst kind of thing and that's what our attitude is about the whole of life like you can't stand society and I kind of hate it and that and um, that's also like it reflects our music in the way that um, we don't want to have any rules in, in music as well as in everything else and so um, it's all a big sort of thing like an angst thing I suppose in a way <laughs> mm. an arco punk band yeah. <laughs> uh, do, uh, what's there really are the messages in the title of the record Serenade um, it's not really a message just sort of um, just sort of summing up like the, the songs contained on the, and everything about the songs on the album really so, um, it just it says that really to me like um, Serenade you know um, it's just sort of so, you know, serenade like um, a little poem that sung for something or for someone, and um, that's what we consider all those songs on the album to be like um, for someone or for something. You know, like not just songs written for nothing, but for like actually with a purpose and that. And um, so that's, that's where, where it links to serenade really, and mm -hmm. that all the cover links in and everything with the whole thing as well, the whole concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, about the album cover on the album, you know, it's pretty fantastic. From where did the ID of this artwork came about? Um, we saw it in, um, when, when we were on tour. We were on tour with Cannibal Corpse in, in England, and we just stopped at a garage. And we needed a cover at the time, and we were just looking in a, in a magazine. And we, we saw some photographs by this fella, like David Penn Praise. And um, not this photograph wasn't actually in the magazine, it was just... Um, some other ones that, that are really good as well and so we got in contact with the magazine and th eventually that photographer phoned me up and um, I spoke to him and, that, and um, he said he'd sent, send me like a lot of his other slides that he'd done as well so he sent a big a big load of them about 17 and it was there was some there was some of that photograph on the album cover there was like ones in different tints and that and there was also ones like of all different photos that were really good as well and we chose what we thought was the most suitable one like for like the album and, that, and um, that came on it and then we designed all the rest ourselves just like um, put everything you know bit by bit and then um, just l looked at it carefully and like and I took some photos myself when we got them all together like and um, eventually compiled and designed the album with Dave a piece of it. Yeah. Uh, it seems now it seems now with the debut album you know 
don't know, he's he'll build up quite a solid fan base for himself. Do you feel he now is trying to bring up the fan fan base even more with the second LP? Um, maybe, yeah, yeah. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to, for it to happen, yeah. Um, I presume I, I presume it will, you know, because it just sort of happens like that with most fans. But um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I suppose it will. But um, I'm, we're not really bothered about how many we sell or anything like that. You know, just um, it's good to having people that are into you, and it's good like being able to play places like all over, and like for a few people to come to the gig like that's good like, and um, that's what we want the most. We want to be able to get out there and play gigs and have people actually come to see us and like, you know, loads of people on it and then because like in the past that, that's happened like when we went to Europe and that we played three gigs and every gig like we, just, we were just like really like really chuffed with it like it's not, not like in England at all like in England you can't you can never guarantee like whether there's going to be loads of people there or not like it's, it's usually like either loads or either not that much at all in England yeah Thank you so much, Darren, taking the time talking to me. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, and very, very best wishes with Anathema. Yeah, cheers, yeah. And the same with your um, radio station in that way. Hello yeah. to everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah.